<laughs> Hello YouTube, Alpha Papa Dovi here. And like I mentioned on one of the other videos, um, here I have like the parts. I have a case right here, which is the Phantom, but I'm not gonna use it. Because I wanna have it like outside the case. I don't know, why not? To tinker with it. Um, so we have the Intel Core i7-3770K. LGA 1155 socket. Uh, yeah, I already had this graphic card. It's a 5870. It came with the um, Alienware, which is right here. The Alienware I usually have it here. Um, it works and everything. I just wanted, I'm gonna have it there for now while I test all these parts, make sure everything works. Then I went with this RAM, which is um eight. Gigabyte, eight gigabytes, um, and eight gigabytes, which is sixteen. Um, so it's eight DIMMs and eight DIMMs, but modules. DIMMs are for laptops, I think. I don't know, A modules and A modules, whatever. I don't know how you call them. Then we have the power supply, and we have the motherboard, which I already opened. Um, this is the C68XP-UD5. And it has a whole bunch of features in it. Like, it's just like a lot of things built in it. And um, this motherboard and this is the most expensive. Between these two, it's six hundred dollars, like seven hundred more actually, to be more accurate. Right now, without the case, with only this right here, I'm at a thousand dollars um seven eight nine i'm at nine hundred dollars i haven't bought a case because i have one here and i haven't bought a a graphic card so all that i already have so i just bought this the motherboard i bought the um the modules, which is eight and eight. Um, I bought the um, Intel Core i7 7770. Wow, I can't forget. I already forgot. Is uh, where are you? 3770K, which is an unlocked processor, and you can like overclock it. I think the 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 highest you can go is like a 4.2 or something. Something coin? I can see myself now. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. My dog ran off and I have to go get him. Um, so this is what I have here. Give him a good shot of what I have here. Get close if you want. And then my Alienware. It's right here works perfectly fine has five years warranty um, and I'm not a fanboy or anything the reason I bought the Alienware simple there's, you cannot find that case nowhere like there's no way online that you can find it it's not that I'm a fanboy or anything because I also own an iMac 27 inch um, iMac this is the core i7 whatever 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 I have videos, I think, of it. I also had an Aurora, um, so that I also at one point had um, dual IMAX, a Core i7 and a Core i7, but that wasn't working out because I'm not a big Apple person. Like, I mean, I OS X is not bad, but it's just like I'm more of a window guy because I like to tinker with my computer a lot. I like I go in it and I change parts, you know. I also built this one right here. Oh, you can't do, you can't go without the Mario. The Mario is a must. If you don't have a Mario in your house, you should just, it's like a crime. You should go do some jail time for having the Mario, for not having the Mario. So we have the, um, this one that I built. Um, Core i7, 950 processor. They have the um, 1166 socket, if I, I don't even remember. Um, it has this um, heat sink uh, with neon lights, blue, neon lights, blue. The case is new. This is where the um, 
I had it in the Phantom at the beginning. Then you have the 5870. I, I don't even know if I remember that I mentioned that the 5870s came with the Alienware. When I first bought the Alienware, it came with dual 5870s, but then I upgraded them and I bought the 6870. So it came with the 5870 a year and a half after I upgraded to 6870s. Uh, they do the job. The whole thing that I don't like about the Crossfire mode is that most of the games don't have support for Crossfire. So when you're playing them, they look like shit. That you have the static lights and you have to disable Crossfire and play them with one card, which beats the purpose of you having Crossfire. Because that's the only reason I have Crossfire. There's no other reason that I have Crossfire but that. So this has, um, let's get back to this. Uh, six gigabytes of RAM. I can stick another six. I have another six, but um, my son uses this and he doesn't really do a lot of gaming or do a lot of like hardcore things on it. He barely plays games on it. Um, what else? It has one hard drive. Cable management was a lot better, but the fans when I when I installed this computer, the fans were not working. The speed. This controls the speed of the fan from here. It was not working. And it comes to realize that the fucking thing is broken. I bought it like that. And I have already thrown the box so I cannot take it away. Everything works. Except the fans. So I went back in there. See? Like point it back there. Like see see how it is right there? And if you hit here, it'll go up. Like if you see it's not working right now. See, it, it shouldn't do that. Um, yeah, everything works on it except the fans were not working, so I couldn't figure them out. I, I did a lot of research and I just freaking my brain was smoking after all that shit. And basically, I thought if so, the cable management. I the last time I went in there, I was like, This is it, I gotta figure this shit out. What's bothering me? So I went in there and somehow we figured out that if you hit here, the freaking thing would work. So comes to the realization that this didn't work. So I was like fed up with this, so I just put it back however I could, and I didn't fucking care about the cable manager. It doesn't look bad because the the power supply is not a module modular power supply, whatever you call that. But it doesn't look that bad. I mean, this is it. This is the computer right here. Fuck! I turned the monitor off. My bad. But they was asleep. This is the computer right here. I'm gonna probably buy a a, a motherboard. A cheap motherboard. Um, that website's really good to watch movies. By the way, my son was watching a movie right now. In case you guys want to go, let me show you those the specs real quick. Not the specs, but the processor and all that shit. Uh, device manager, no. Here it is. Um, six gigabyte, sixty-four bit operating system. Whatever, whatever. Uh, it has a processor. 950 right there. So it has the i7, 950, whatever, whatever. So now back to here. Like I said, uh, I got into the Hackintosh thing. It's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's like a fun experience. So that's why I'm putting this together. I don't need to put it. I don't need to have another computer. But... With that said, I'm, I just, I'm not going to use this case. I'm going to um, try to save some money or something and buy a different case. I'm going to have it here for now just to test it and run whatever and do all this. I'm pretty sure you guys seen unboxings of this, unboxings of this, unboxings of everything. I did an unboxing for the power supply, so we don't need to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it together right here because it's better to concentrate on one thing and I'm not going to try to be talking to the camera and doing this I'm going to put it together and then I'll record a video of how it looks and then I'll come back and um, record myself loading OS X on it um, OS X um, Snowland Lion I'm going to know Lion I bought it through the app store and yeah you guys seen videos of all this already so there's no need for me to record myself doing it I mean, pretty self-explanatory. It's not a rocket science. Just like four or five parts. 
power supply, powers the motherboard, and powers the CPU, RAM, graphic card. It, even though this has integrated um, graphics, 400, I think. Uh, that's nice. I could use that. But I have a graphic card. But I, I don't think I'm going to be using this graphic card. Because if you see, this graphic card doesn't have a um, mini display port. So I'm going to probably rip one of those out, which is the 6870 out of my Alienware. And because I want to use the Apple monitor and I need the mini display port, or unless I just straight up HDMI to the Dell, use something that cost me like $1,400. Um, I could do that, but I mean, I, I really like this display. Like, I mean, the Apple cinema display is just fantastic. Not a big OS, big OS X person, but. I mean, I like to tinker with the computer and all that. Why not try it? But right now, I'm just rambling. Just keep talking. I'm talking a lot right now. So, I'm going to go hook everything up, and I'll see you guys in a bit.